So it's been more than a year now. I haven't used any Adobe softwares. I even made a video finally saying goodbye to Adobe softwares. And these were the softwares that I was using in the past from Adobe. Uh, Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, and Photoshop. So ever since I made this video, basically I switched to something else, okay, to the alternatives. And I haven't looked back. I'm actually a lot happier with the Adobe software's alternatives that I'm using, okay? In this video, I wanna show you guys the alternatives that I use and show you guys a few demos here and there. Let's start this with the Photoshop alternative. For Photoshop alternative, I actually use three different softwares and you won't believe it. I also have generative fill like generative AI for free. Yeah, that is possible. You don't need to have a Adobe Photoshop to do a generative fill or whatever they call it. One more thing that I want to point out here, you may already know about this. So recently Adobe made a few changes in the terms of use thingy which made many people angry and unhappy i'm not gonna go too deep into this uh you already know about this maybe if you don't then do the google search adobe controversy or adobe related news you'll know what's up basically now adobe wants to spy on you so whatever you do on the adobe softwares like you do video editing audio editing photo editing they kind of have access to it that's what the terms of use thingy says Okay, I'm not gonna go deep into it. As I said, if you want to, you can look up on the internet. So basically now people are actually looking for the Adobe software's alternatives. So again, as I said, it's been more than a year. I haven't used any Adobe products. So I think I kind of have a little bit of experience on Adobe alternative softwares that I use. I'm not saying I have used every single Adobe alternatives out there, but I'm talking about like uh, my opinion thing. Uh, you know, I have used Adobe products before and I switched and I use something and I want to share with you guys. That's all. Let's actually start again. As I said, for the Photoshop, I use three different alternatives. First one is Krita. Now, some of you guys who knows about the Krita may say, no, this isn't the Adobe Photoshop alternative. You might say GIMP is better or whatever, but actually, Krita is better. I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but once you learn Krita, it is actually good alternative to Photoshop. Plus it's free and open source. Plus there are many really cool plugins and that you can add to it and make it even more powerful. Here is the coolest thing about Krita. It has generative AI thing, just like in Photoshop. You have to get a plugin called Krita AI Diffusion. This thing is just the best plugin for Krita if you want to do AI generative thingies. And another great thing about this plugin, it is in active development. Look at this. Uh, this thing was updated two days ago. It's always getting the updates and maintained. Now, let me show you guys the demo. Once you install this plugin, you'll have this uh, option in Krita AI image generation. So with this, you can generate images, text to image, really simple, easy, remove content, replace background or custom generate. I actually want to give you guys a demo by uh, doing some generative uh, AI thingy in here. Okay, let's say this is the picture and I wanna expand it or add content to it. Okay, let's match this with the canvas. I mean, you don't have to do that. You can expand the image in any direction, okay? So to make this video quicker, I'm just gonna expand it to left and right uh, where we have the space here, okay? So I'm gonna select the empty space with a little bit of image in it and I'm gonna click on expand. You have the expand option or if you want to do something else like add content or something like that, you can select those, those options. Now I'm gonna click on expand. You can see it's running the AI thingy. You can also go into the settings and this is what the AI diffusion settings looks like. Here you can change the settings and you can have any diffusion model to it, which means it will work on any type of images. So that's kind of cool. And look at that, we have some results here. Okay, this is the one, this is the second one whichever you like, choose that. Let's say I like that. 
apply. Let's do the other side here. I'm gonna click on expand. Ah, this one doesn't look good, but don't worry, we can have multiple choices here. If you're not happy with something that you get here, you can always generate more and it will give you even more options. This one actually looks good. It's not that bad, but we're gonna uh, get more variations. Let's see this one. Yeah, look at that. This one, perfect. This one is also perfect. It matches with the uh, image. There is the fog, okay? and here we have the fog. Perfection, look at that, bam, okay? And if you want to add any content or remove any content, you can do the same thing. I wanna add something in here. Let's say a house. I'm gonna go into add content, okay? Let's see, or we can go with the fill, I think. So let's uh, type in here house, click on add content, and it should give us a tiny little house in here. Uh, and again, we can uh, generate the images as many times as we want. Oh, actually, <laughs> it's a, what do you call it? The wall thingy? I don't know. Uh, there is the house there, but yeah, this one is much better. Uh, the house is in like distance uh, and that thing looks better. Okay, so I should have done better selection here, but you got the idea, okay? You have to play around with it. You got the idea, okay? If you're into generative AI, generative fill thingy, this thing is actually really powerful and it's completely free plus open source plus it is based on stable diffusion, which means you can use any diffusion model you want. Okay, if you don't know about the stable diffusion, go and look up on the internet. You'll get everything you need to know. There are a couple of uh, models already here, uh, like for example, Dream Shaper, Flat 2D, uh, Any Merge, which is like the anime style thingy or cartoon style thingy. So if you are into, uh, there, are, there are actually presets, okay? So right now we are in cinematic photo, which means the realistic photos. We have comic and anime. So if you want to do art or something like that, uh, it's gonna have that model here, you can see. You can also make your own presets for different things and different styles. And you can run this AI model locally or a remote server, or you can also use a online GPU for it, which is kind of cool. And I use it on my local machine and it just works. I have pretty decent GPU. It's RTX 2070 and it just works. And rest, you know how Photoshop works and uh, uh, Krita, uh, also kind of works similarly. You know, I have been using a Krita for almost a year now. I haven't looked back and I'm really satisfied with it. Now, let me show you guys another thing that I use uh, as a Photoshop alternative. It is called Photo P. Yeah, this is probably the best Photoshop alternative out there. This thing actually looks like Photoshop. And guess what? You can use this on your web browser. It's a online tool. You don't have to download it or no nothing like that. It has almost everything what Photoshop has. Some of the tools actually work better in this and then the Krita. So I also use this sometime. I had few issues with this in the past. I even made video in this why I don't use Photo P. Uh, the problem was that whenever I import a you know, big 4K image, it will just lag and freeze. But that issue is solved now. That's what it looks like. This is a 4K image of dual monitor, okay? And now look at this, there is no lag, no nothing, and it works perfectly. Again, as I said, there are some things this does better than Krita. So actually, if something is not working in Krita, I open this, do that, something that wasn't working in this and then copy and paste it to Krita. Again, as I said, it has almost everything what Photoshop has. So I don't think I need to, you know, explain this tool that much. Maybe you already know about this. This thing is the best, you know, free Photoshop alternative. And if you want to do a generative fill, generative AI thingies, then use Krita. For me, these two tools are like the best alternative to Photoshop. I don't miss Photoshop anymore. <laughs> I'm being honest here. Like it's been more than a year I haven't used Photoshop and I don't think I'll ever go back there. So I'm pretty happy. And there is one more thing that I use for generative AI. It is called Focus. This is also a free and open source project. This thing is also really good image generator. 
plus image editor. You can do image generations, plus you can also edit your images like add content, remove content, expand the image, you know, in painting, out painting and all that. Uh, if you want to learn more about this, you should go to the official GitHub page and you'll know what's up with this tool. This is based on stable diffusion and uh, this is like the alternative to the mid journey you know there is a really popular text to image ai called mid journey which is like premium uh, you know ai thingy so focus is like free plus a alternative to mid journey they even did a comparison here look at this so you can run this locally or you can also use this on your web browser using google collab i actually use this locally this is how this thing looks this is really simple and easy to use you can put really simple prompts and you'll get really good results and you can also do a image to image generation there is the image prompt you can do out paint in paint just like we did in the krita so i use this tool to actually do a image to image generation i can give you guys a demo here this is my picture i'm going to put one prompt here man face so it knows that it needs to you know uh, generate a image of a man this is a trick if you want to do a image to image generation if you want a better face detail put this thing on the prompt this will try to you know copy the exact you know facial expressions and everything actually i need to change some settings here before i do that so these are my settings that i use in focus all right and uh, there are many you know uh, presets like you can see these presets, you can generate uh, the images based on these presets. I'm not going to go too deep into it. This is actually really simple and easy to use program. I know you guys are very smart. You, you can also look up the tutorials online. So let's do a image generation now. I'm turning this photo into kind of cartoonish anime style, but not too much. Uh, by changing these settings and look at that we can already see the similarity here we can give more details here uh, man face black eyes uh, smiling if you want to change the facial expressions and look at that we already have one image here and look at that it looks pretty close <laughs> so yeah in my thumbnails this is how i design my character using my own image because i can't really do a facial expressions <laughs> look at me i'm trying to make my face so much happy that i'm putting too much prompt in here just saying <laughs> surprised happy eyes happy face and everything this thing is so simple whatever you put in here it, it will just work so let me actually generate the image using this prompt and look at that <laughs> see this is like cool like happy eyes happy man he's actually laughing happy right and we get more variations you can generate as many times as you want and you can also do a image generation so that was just a demo why i use this tool and how i use this so pretty cool best thing about this tool is that the presets there are so many presets and you can generate images based on those presets and again as i said this is based on stable diffusion so you can download any diffusion models from the internet uh, and use this that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or you still want to discuss something you can always do the comment and we can try to have some chit chat in the comment section too and yeah um see you in the comments that's it i'll see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun Bye bye